I'm Ian, and the person holding the camera is Cleo, and we're going to give you a tour of the Ribchester site. Um, so, uh, this fort was established in 73 AD, uh, and it was originally a timber fort that extended in about 100 feet that direction, where the wall would have been. Um, we know that because we found some, uh, well, in this, in this section in, in particular, we found a, a well with a wicker basket lining that dates from that period. Uh, but more recently, they moved the wall back to here, which was originally timber, but then uh, they put this cobblestone in, uh, and they established the stone fort. So we're right now outside of the stone fort, but inside of what would have been the wooden fort. So this is right in front of the stone fort, and you can see this is a ditch. This would have extended very far in either direction, um, and this would have you know, stopped people from coming in. On this side, we have the clay ramparts, so these things would have worked their way up to the walls in a slope, and they would have helped uh, repel invaders and strengthen the wall. After digging out um, the bottom of the rampart, they discovered some timber corduroy. That means they would have placed the timber in a corduroy sort of fashion and put the rampart on top. Um, but this will allow us to carbon date, which is nice, so we can get a more accurate date. So what you're looking at right now is the, well, in our approximation, it was the first guardhouse of the stone fort. Uh, we're now changing our theories on that because it seems like the original road, which runs just about here, um, actually would have ran into the guardhouse, which doesn't make sense. Uh, so the guardhouse must be from a later date when they moved the road uh, further to the south. Uh, in that area, we still have the, the most recent guardhouse, as I was saying. This is a bit earlier, and we think we have an even earlier one buried somewhere underneath this that we're hoping we can get to in this season. So what you were looking at just there is the Roman road that we've excavated that would have run all the way around the interior of the fort, which we call the intervallum road. At the moment, the highest road surface that you can see closest to us here is probably yeah. dates from the 4th century, and it's not a particularly well cared for road. But further down, you can see a much better cared for 2nd century Roman road. And even further along from that, we have the first new surface, which means this is the earliest road that they would have built on this location. Mm -hmm. We'll keep going this way, so you can see. Alright, so down here in the southern end of the trench, what we're looking at primarily is we think three distinct but spatially interrelating buildings. So to the far east of the trench, we've located a single long clay floor that runs almost all the way up to the road. The fact that currently our theory is that this is an interior building, and this is supported both by the clay floor that we've identified and by the long string of post holes running again almost all the way up to the road in a straight line. In addition, we've located the beam slot, which is this long horizontal ditch here, which would have had a single piece of wood laid in it and then uprights attached to it in order to construct a wall. For this, uh, given this, we can be almost certain that there was a wall there and that all of the space to the east was an interior space. Moving along, the next uh, interconnected space that we're dealing with is this kiln here. So the kiln in front of us, the red clay kiln, uh, is currently theorized to either be a corn drying kiln a baking kiln or a pottery kiln, though we're not entirely sure which one so far. At the moment, our primary goal here is to try and figure out how it relates stratigraphically to the tile workflow in front of it. So at the moment, we're trying to excavate back as far as possible here to figure out which one of those came first and to try and locate some more solid data evidence as we go. Continuing moving to the west, we have yeah, one so more space floor, which is all you actually want. Again. Now, last season we pulled a large collection of all you want my out of this region. Oh. So currently, our theory is that it's another workshop space, a bit like the ones that we've been dealing with for this decade. We think that it's also possible this had some kind of roof or shelter over it because we have another line of post holes running up the far west of the trench. So at the moment, our goals in the south are to try and document all of this as thoroughly as possible and to make sure that we can get as close to the timber fort that lies underneath. Thank you.